Number 12, engineering application. Each piston of an engine makes a sharp sound every other revolution of the engine. Letter A, how fast is a race car going if its eight cylinder engine emits a sound of frequency 750 hertz, given that the engine makes 2000 revolutions per kilometer? All right. Uh, so whenever you're given a word salad, Basically, we're going to try to take this piece by piece, one little section at a time, and try to, you know, write down some mathematical relationships between from what they're telling me, okay? So I'm going to start with the first sentence. The first thing says that each piston, okay, of an engine makes a sound every other revolution, okay? So that basically means that I can say something like this, that there's one sound for every two revolutions, correct? Isn't that what it means to be every other revolution? That if there are two revolutions, then we're going to hear one sound? That meant that every other revolution that, produ that produced one single sound? So that should hopefully make sense. So we take that out of the first sentence. And it also tells us that each of these pistons is producing a sound at this particular rate, more or less. So that means one sound is happening per every other re revolution per piston. So that means that since I since it sounds like it should be per piston, that means I need to have down here per single piston. So essentially, this now works out to be kind of a a uh, what do we call it? A multiplication of units in the denominator here. All right, I'm going to separate them a little more. All right. So there's one sound per every other per every other revolution per piston. So that's the conversion here. Okay. Next thing. It says how fast. So this is really what's going to guide me in the problem. It says how fast, how, what do they, how do we calculate speed? Well, it's meters per second, right? So let's just leave that in meters per second. Whether we need it in meters per second or kilometers per hour or kilometers per nanosecond, it doesn't really say. It just says how fast. So I'm going to do it in meters per second. If you want to do it in a different unit, that's fine. But we're both saying the same thing, assuming we're going to calculate it the same way. So, or a similar way, I should say. So letter, uh, so how fast is the race car going? Okay, great. If it's eight cylinder engine, right? So now that's, it says there's eight cylinders to this engine. So what is that? Well, actually, let me come back to that. It says it emits a sound of frequency 750 hertz. So what is, this is a frequency, right? And you have to remember frequency is basically the number of things happening per second. So this is telling us here that there's going to be 750, 750 sounds being produced every single second per one second, right? So now this is also then per single engine, right? So there's seven, it says, it says the engine is going to emit this particular sound. So there's 750 sounds coming each second, right? Coming out of the engine each second per single engine. So I'm going to write down here one engine. All right. So very similar to how I approached the first one. Now it also tells us that it's an eight cylinder engine. So what that means is we can now write something like that. And cylinder, by the way, just you can plug in piston for that because each cylinder has a piston in it. So it doesn't, since I'm using piston over here, I want to be consistent. So um, here, uh, what we have to do now is say that, let's just say one piston, or excuse me, uh, per single engine, there's going to be eight pistons. Right? That should make sense. So, uh, you know, one engine per eight piston. Okay? So, now what we have is, we okay, we took care of that. And now the last but not least, it says that this engine is going to make 2,000 revolutions per kilometer. So that's the last piece. 2,000 revolutions per single kilometer. Single km. All right, so I took the word salad and made now a conversion salad out of it. Now, the whole goal is to put the salad together so that when we multiply everything together, we're going to get meters per second. So the first thing is I'm going to use now my uh, my answer, basically, the, the units I need in my answer to help guide me. So I need the meters in the top, right, in the numerator. So I'm looking here. Is there any distance value that's given? Sure. It's kilometers. Two problems. It's in the denominator, and it's not a meter. But that's easy to fix. Literally take this and flip it. So one kilometer per 2,000 2, revolutions. 
Now already I know I need this in meters, so let's just get that out of the way. So kilometer on the bottom, meter on the top, 1,000 meters for every single kilometer. Bada bing, bada boom. And now we got meters per revolution. That's not what we need, though. We need meters per second, right? Okay. So the next thing will be, I'm going to focus on the seconds now. And I want to look here. What thing has time in it? Well, time is right here, right? Seconds. That's it. Now that's already in the denominator, so we're good. So all I'm going to do is now literally place that fraction into my conversion uh, uh, setup here. So this is going to be 750 seconds, excuse me, 750 sounds per single second. I'm just going to write 1s times then per engine, right? Okay. So now notice here, I'm going to circle this. I have now, I have my meters and my seconds, but I have a lot of other things that I don't want. Revolution, sound, and engine. So basically what I now need to do is get rid of them, okay? So what I'm going to do here is just cross this off, cross off the ones I used already. I used this and I used this, so I'm left with two, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I, I realize that I need to get rid of sounds, right? And sounds is found in this conversion factor. I need to flip it though, right? To cancel the sounds here, I need the sounds in the denominator over there. So I'm going to flip that entire fraction. So I'm going to put one sound down here. And then this was two revolutions times one piston, right? And now this would, watch what happens. So the sounds cancel. Oh, look, revolutions will also cancel too. So right now, if you notice, I'm left with still meters per second, but now I have piston and engine. I don't want I need to get rid of piston and engine, right? And lo and behold, there's only one conversion factor left. It's this one. Right, but notice the units in there, right? It works out nicely here. So I need to get rid of pistons, so they're gonna be on the bottom, so I can basically just plug this in, right? Eight piston per one engine. Notice what's going to happen here. The pistons go bye-bye, the engine goes bye-bye, and finally, left with meters per second. Wow, right? So notice when you look at it now, it's like, oh, that's not terrible. Right, but when I'm sure when you read it, read it just like I did, I'm like, what in the what? What are they even trying to say? So let's simply calculate. So it's 1,000 times 750 times two divided by now 2,000 times then eight, basically in the denominator, and this now is going to work out to 93.8 or so, 93.8 meters per second. If you need it in a different speed unit, by all means, you can convert from there. And that takes care of letter A. Letter B. How, okay. How, uh, at how many revolutions per minute is the engine rotating? Okay, so now what's the question? The question is, again, we start with, the, it's saying revolutions per minute. Right? So what do I need? I'm going to focus on then revolutions, right? So let me start with the numerator here. I'm gonna look here, where do I have revolutions? Well, I have them in two places though, right? So maybe let's not start with that, okay? Since I have revolution here and I have revolution here. What I'm gonna do is let me just delete these if I can, just so, all right. And let me just delete this and delete this for now. All right. So I'm gonna probably hold off on that. I'm gonna then find my time unit. And I know that's in minutes, but the only thing I have here in terms of time is in seconds. So I'm gonna work with that first, okay? Um, and maybe then the other uh, units might guide me along the way, all right, so we'll see. So let's now take, uh, so let's now take 750, okay, 750, and I'm gonna plug it in exactly how I see it because the time is in the denominator which it, where it should be, so one second and then per engine, right? So this then, I'm gonna get rid of seconds, I'm gonna convert into minutes already. So this is going to be seconds on the top, minute on the bottom, 60 seconds in one minute. So the seconds are gone, right? So now I got minutes in the denominator, but now I have sounds and engine. So I gotta get rid of, oops, I gotta get rid of now sounds and engine, okay? So if I notice, now that I, now that I used this one up, it actually does guide me. I still have to plug in revolutions somehow, right? So, but notice how here I have sounds and engine in it. And that would direct me to probably use this one now because it has sound in it and then I can start canceling some things, right? This doesn't provide me any value. I, it does, you know, it gives me revolution, but there's no sound, you know? So 
what I'm now going to do is I'm going to realize that I need revolution in the top. All right, I need revolutions in the numerator. So I'm simply going to take this fraction and flip it. So there's going to be two revolutions times one piston per then one sound. Now notice this does two wonderful things. It allows me, oops, sorry. It allows me to cancel the sounds, right? And it leaves me then with my revolutions, okay, in the numerator. So right now here, I have the desired units of revolution per minute, but I have two things that I don't want. I have piston and engine. I gotta get rid of them, right? So notice here, that now leaves me with this one, that conversion unit. So now I can simply plug this on in. So I need piston on the bottom to cancel, and I need engine on the top, and then I just plug in the values, right, from that conversion uh, factor. And now notice the pistons cancel, the engines cancel, and lo and behold, we're left with revolutions per minute. All righty then, let's calculate. So 750 times 60 times two divided by eight. All right, so this is now 1.13 or so times 10 raised to the fourth. And this is revolutions, whoa, 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 whoa. This is then revolutions per minute. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so hopefully that helps. All right, so remember, when the problem gets complex, a very useful technique is dimensional analysis. You just have to make sure you set up your conversion factors right and be very detailed about them. All right? So, guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. And if you can, tell your friends. That'd be so much appreciated. And we look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.